So I've been doing a lot of drawing and painting since my last video and I just wanted to share where things are at. I finally, finally finished 21 Club. So I've been working on this painting since last year and partly I took long breaks because I've been prioritizing commissions but also the details took a lot longer than I expected because each statue had its own unique details and the fence had a lot of details that took longer than I thought. So they are finally available, 21 prints are available, they are up on my website if you're interested. I also finished and sent off my commission series that I've shared in previous videos, I will put a link above and below. And commissions have a really special place in my art and when I send them off, I feel like I'm sending off my kids to college or something. I am really hoping that the client loves it and that it will bring them a lot of memories to come. Aside from that, I've been watching a lot of content creators and productivity experts recommend time blocking and batching content. And I've been thinking about how to do this for my YouTube and Instagram. And uh, apparently the research shows that it takes a lot for our mind to switch from one task to another. And it kind of disrupts and interrupts our productivity when we do switch tasks. So the suggestion is to focus on one task and set aside a block of time just for that task and then move on to the next, next task and that will increase your productivity and your focus. And I was thinking, what if I do this for drawing as well and planning out the month or a couple months? My process is usually I do a pencil sketch and it's a pretty detailed pencil sketch and then I do a pen outline before I go into painting. I decided to do a few different pieces and this is actually going to be two pieces. I will be cutting this but these are two locations. Usually I use three to four reference photos for each location. It's kind of funny because I do capture most of the details in initial pencil sketch but I still prefer looking at the photos as I do the pen outlines. This restaurant, if I remember correctly, was opened in the 1930s or something, so it's pretty iconic as far as a New York City restaurant. And this is Bar Sardine. I believe they closed not too long ago due to COVID, and I wanted to capture the essence of the location. This is going to be a perspective and I do have to sketch out with pencil the rest of this scene. I have had several people ask me about supplies. So let me show you. These are drawing pencils that is pretty popular and common. A popular brand is Faber-Castell. They are a German brand. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Maybe it's Faber. I don't know. So H is a pretty light pencil and then 6B is usually the darkest that I use. And if you want something darker than that, this is an ebony pencil. Now, as far as pens, they are micron. And usually I use 03, 05, and 01. I reach for 03 the most, and this is the thickness. And I do vary it with these two because it is nice to have um, different weights of the pen outline. For paintbrushes, I have a ton of paintbrushes from my oil painting days to now, but these are my go-tos. I do use this once in a while, but to be honest, not that much. It is nice to have a flat square brush or uh, flat areas of color, but because most of my paintings tend to be very detailed, I find this width a little bit too wide and I like to use a round tip. So this is my go-to. I can't really read the label but a round tip like this with I find this really helpful. And then for my details, it's 5 slash 0, 0, 12 slash 0. The brand is Princeton. I've tried so many different brands of brushes and I feel like their fine brushes is 
very reasonable in price and long lasting and really easy to use. So I would highly recommend if you're looking for fine brushes. Aside from that, paint. How pretty is this case? I actually, it's from like a hand lotion case. The lotion was okay, but I love the design on the case. The type of paint I use is Holbein. They are Japanese. This is gouache acrylic, and you can get these individually or as sets. I highly recommend. And while I'm up, let me just take a moment to admire how beautiful these blooms are. I picked these flowers up a couple weeks ago because it is still winter here, still very cold, and I just wanted to bring a little bit of spring indoors. As you can tell, these sunflowers are not doing so well. We had like one day of sun and they bloomed and then it went back to this. So I'm hoping they'll recover. Hopefully we'll have more sunny days, but these white ones, I don't know what type of flowers these are, are doing really well. Anyways, back to the paints. The first time I tried these, I ordered them off of eBay uh, straight from Japan. And I prefer wash acrylic um, more than acrylic or watercolor because it gives you a range of opacity where you can still mix it with a lot of water to get it a translucent and layer the colors. Or you can make it uh, so that it's as opaque as acrylic paint. And they are fast drying, so I found these much easier to work with than oil paint. For a long time, I used to only oil paint. And when I made this switch, I thought it would be really hard. Um, once I started working with these, I found it actually hard to go back to oil paint. Uh, because this is so convenient to clean. All you have to do is wash it off and it doesn't have any type of smell. It has a slight smell, but compared to oil paint, you don't have to worry about toxic fumes. So this is very convenient. I highly recommend trying it if you haven't used gouache or gouache acrylic before. I feel like this brand is a high quality brand, very popular with artists and illustrators. Oh, I wanted to share how cute are these? I have a friend who's a mom and who is very passionate about Down syndrome awareness and there's, I believe, a Down syndrome awareness day in March and she shares a lot of pictures of wearing mismatched socks uh, to raise awareness and I came across these and thought these were perfect for her so I'll be wrapping and sending these out today. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And until next time, keep creating. Bye!